Well, good morning y'all from the woods and the water again. This time with a ton of rain. Just saw white-tailed deer over there before it started raining. It is sprinkling right now. First of all, what you guys missed is I've been trying to get on this carp game for a while now. Juicy delectables. <sighs> Come on. Right there in the shallows. Look at his tail. Look at his tail. My fly is right by him. I still don't know what to do to catch these guys. They're elusive, but I want to learn how to catch them. Please let me know in the comments down below what I need to do. But also since then, it has come a torrential rain. I'm kind of worried right now that a place where I had my trail cameras, that's what I'm doing this morning, I'm coming and checking trail cameras, is actually underwater. So let's go see if we can recover camera number one right now and see what else is out here roaming around this morning. Take a look at this. My camera was out there in front of that tree. The water has come up I don't know how many feet. It's insane. And here you can see where the hogs have been. Tons of them tearing up the land. I did get to pull it once and see what was on there. I really wanted to come back and see. But there's definitely hogs right here. Right now I need a gosh dang scuba mask to find this camera. They are in here hardcore. There's some more white tail right there. Good morning, girls. Good morning. I see carp. I wonder what they're doing. It's almost like they're spawning. It's just not looking good, y'all. The spots that I'd set up for fishing and hunting out here right now are uh, completely thrashed. So we gotta go back and we gotta regroup. Okay, might need help on the uh, identification on this guy. So fast. He's got, uh, he's got a little bit of yellow on his back. He's mostly just black. And um, man, I mean, he was right on the path. He doesn't look like he has a big head or anything. <sighs> Hopefully you are a sign of good luck. Um, really interesting face right there, actually. Kind of like a hog nose. All right, we need to identify you. Hey. Megalodon of a water moccasin. Look at that guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. Huge snakes on the path. That one was a huge water moccasin, no doubt. It's the biggest one I've seen out here. Oof, shit, it just sends shivers up my spine. I hate those things. Another disappointing situation. Heading over to go across the bridge. And the bridge is gone. We got so much rain. It has flooded the lake, destroyed the bridge, washed my camera away, brought a herd of snakes, and the hogs are going everywhere. It's insane. I gotta find a way around this to go check this camera. But this is unreal, guys. What am I supposed to do fishing-wise? This is terrible. I mean, you think there's not any snakes in there? Huh? Yeah, there's gonna be a couple of danger noodles roaming around up in here. Hmm. This area right here is where that big old buck has been coming in. Look how thick that is. Y'all, they could be just bedded down 10 feet away. I wouldn't even know it. Any power still left on this bad boy? Oh yeah. Looks like 780 photos. This should be fun to go through. Let's see what we got. So despite the torrential rains, the bridge being washed away, and dodging snakes and all that, I was able to go check another one of my trail cameras. But first, I want to show you guys what was roaming around right there where it was flooded, where my camera is now gone. It was washed away into a river somewhere, um, never to be seen again. We have the culprits. Look at that. I can see your little, little tail there, buddy. Everything that you see right here all the way to the water's edge is now underwater and up to the camera lens is underwater. So massive, massive flooding. I've been wanting to set up this hunt, was finally getting them dialed in where I knew they were coming in at certain times and I wanted to do a beach hunt. I think that would be awesome. It's not gonna work out, obviously. There's no more beach. But what that does do is it's gonna push the hogs even farther uh, inland and I'll just have to adjust and whatnot. It's been more of a challenge 
to go out and do a lot of travel and things like that. So this is something close that I'm studying hard and trying to accomplish. So unfortunately, that whole area is now occupied by the aquatic realm. But let's pop in this other SD card and let's just see what was going on at my other camera. I got a feeling old Mr. Buckhorn is gonna be there. Oh, there you are, buddy. There you are, right off the bat, he's there. How you doing, Mario? And his first point after his brow time is gone on his right side. So he's got an extra one growing and then he's got one missing. So he's very distinct. He's covered the camera. I mean, he's there, he's every night. He's working early, he's working late. This right here is a different deer. Uh, much thinner antlers. He's got his head down, so I can't really see. He looks young. He looks like he's probably like two and a half or or so, maybe three, but his antlers are, are much thinner. He's got a nice size little unit growing here. I mean, 1.22 p.m. He's out chilling. I think I might have to do a little traveling to go get on a deer. I don't want to miss opening day of archery season, y'all. But I know one thing for sure. That lake out there right now, there is not a chance. I'm getting a bite. It's very, very difficult to fish rising water. I gotta get back on those carp somehow and try to figure those out eventually. Dialing these hogs in, I'm gonna get one. There's also a lot of ducks down there and it's almost the end of the early teal season. So I might could get one of those. But the main thing is I wanted to focus on some things really close. This is extremely close. Literally, I'm just walking down there. And it gives me a chance to do hunting and fishing really close with being a new dad and having to change diapers at 2 a.m. I don't know how many diapers I've changed since little Emmy was born, but it's more than I thought I ever would in my lifetime. I'm a changed man, and I'm getting after it, doing dad duties. I'm doing everything. So y'all just bear with me on these videos. It's been a little sporadic here lately, I apologize. But speaking of wildlife, I heard OSG Stern up there. I heard she was gonna make some deer chili. She makes excellent deer chili. So let's pop on up there and see what she does to make that chili so good. Hey, little girl. Hey, little girl. Little sweet pea in here watching mom cook. Cooking with mom. Babe, I saw deer out there this morning. The lake is about in our backyard. I lost the camera. <laughs> Daggum hogs are taking all over the place. Well, Snakes are everywhere. It doesn't sound like you were very successful. I, I was successful Ooh. in seeing things, honey. Sometimes that's what you gotta do in the outdoors. No, I didn't bring home the bacon necessarily, but I brought home knowledge and visuals. And smells. Speaking of smells. I was say, we are baking the bacon. Bacon. The first cool front, which normally our traditions are chili and Harry Potter. That is, yeah. you let them in on the daggum secret. Don't be telling them I watch Harry Potter. Yeah, come it. I do it for the kids. That's all. I do it for the kids, okay? I wish you could. Oh, God bless you, honey. Aww. God See, bless you. I know. You mean you kept me up last night? I've been trying to get out there in the early morning. It's hard. It's hard when you're crying. Trying to find the balance, y'all. The balance of being a daddy, being an outdoorsman, and being a husband, being a YouTuber, all at the same time. It is making me a stronger man, a stronger <laughs> person. I think you would concur. I think I would. The past two weeks have been a little rough. I think my face kind of explains it. <laughs> look at these bags. <laughs> Honey, you look great. You just had a baby, for goodness sake. Look at you. Well, thank you. I mean, she was in your belly like seven days ago. The house is definitely not quiet. Okay, honey, we're gonna put you right over here. You got a good, good vantage point, everybody, okay? It's so funny that babies can't move. They're just locked in, they poop, they sleep, and then they milk, which, by the way, coming back from an outdoorsman trip to watching your wife pump milk is really a new, that's a new experience in life, let me tell you. Wow, felt like I was on a farm for a second. We did have a uh, expression of Surprise, disbelief, you come upstairs and you're like, what are you doing? What is that attached to you? It's like R2-D2, just taking your soul. Come here, baby. Come here, sweet pea. Oh, I know it. She's been so good the past couple days when you're not here, and of course the day that you are here. The day that I get here, she doesn't like me. <laughs> That's so sad. Everything takes longer 
with a baby. You start to do something, crying, and then an hour and a half later, you're Come back to back. doing what you were doing. So. But we love you, honey. We love you, honey. And you gotta let that simmer for how long? I like to hours. do it. The longer, the better. Yeah, I'd say hours, and then you make some cornbread. Yes. Archery season opens this week, honey. Oh, that means I probably won't see you. She sounds like a bluegill. Coming up to just pop a little grasshopper. She's like. <laughs> so we have one can of crushed tomatoes. We have one can of diced tomatoes. We have a Rotel Original. Been used in Chile since 1945. I actually don't know if it's 1945. I apologize for a tell if I got that wrong. And then we have our beans. Black beans and we have the dark red kitty beans. Now depending on your bowel system, you may choose a different bean, but those tend to work pretty well over in this household. The multitude of ingredients have been simmering in the pot. This isn't just any pot, right? It's called a Dutch oven. You are correct. God, I'm good. Pay attention in the kitchen. Get brownie points. It scared me. Flat it got me. Flat it got me. It sizzled on me. OSG has got her recipe right here in her book because she's all organized and everything like that. Woodsman Wild Game Chili. I guess that woodsman is you. Me. <laughs> I would hope it is. The woodsman of my life would be you. Yes. All that's left to do is just to confirm that it's delicious. I don't mean me. But if you guys want to check out the recipe, it is on her blog. I'll leave a link down below. Make yourself some delicious. If you don't have deer meat, you can always use just beef, but deer chili. Mm. Oh yeah, there's some there's some bacon in there. Oh, oh yeah. Gotta get a little bite with the bacon in there. Mmm. Excellent job, honey. Nothing quite like some wild game chili to warm you up on a cold day. So this is where I'm gonna leave you right here today, y'all. I'm gonna finish this bowl of chili. And then I'm gonna let this cold front blow through and then I'm gonna go prepare my boat, trying to tackle a dragon tomorrow. I'm gonna head to another lake, not this one. I'm gonna go try to catch some bass and or some other species, just depending on what's going on. Every time there's a big temperature change, water change, I'm wanting to know when are they moving up shallow. The last time I checked the water was 82 degrees on this particular body of water. I wanna see if it's cooled down anymore if they've moved up. There's one thing that happens in the fall in bass fishing and you don't want to miss it and it is called top water. And I just want to say thanks to everybody that gave me an OSG. Our congratulations on our beautiful baby Emmy. As you can see, she's doing quite well. But I think it's about time for daddy to adventure outside and go on a little adventure. So thank you guys for being here. Whatever you're doing, fishing, hunting, enjoying the outdoors, I hope it's snake free. Unlike my day to day. God bless you. I'll see you on the next video. Oh, it's delicious.